Now the way you're going to create, you can see it up there just barely. Now you're going to take your script brush. Now this is a little tricky. <clears throat> and you want to take just the pure white now right on the tip. Just pure white right on the tip. Now I'm going to have to get this in an odd position probably so we'll all kind of work this together. I got a little too much water there. Okay, now work this into where your brush has got a nice chiseled edge. It's got to be real narrow. Okay, now I can see slightly where the uh, glaze is. Now I'm just going to take my brush and just kind of, see I'm kind of skimming like this? All right. Just barely skim surface. Now, the interesting thing about this that you need to be aware of is that on the back side here, see this little spot right here? Okay, this is the front side of the, that part of the glass is broken where the light's going to hit it. But on the back side, that'll be in a shadow, so we'll probably have to put a little darker value there. But, so we're only going to hit the left side or, you know, any area where there's little cracks where the sun or the glow of the Candle could hit it. See, it's just very dry, but kind of, you got to be careful now. Up here, it goes all the way off. You can see over here, there's a little bit of the top. This one's showing here. Put it up here in the corner. Okay, you can see kind of how it looks broken. Now you go back in with your darker value which will be a little burnt sienna and a little blue. It's got to be darker than your background, so be sure that it is. You know, window panes have depth. You know, they're a quarter or a half, not a half, but sixteenth. They're real thin, but they still have depth. This may not be dark enough. Let's see. I think it's going to be okay. See, that would be the shadowed side of this, that little piece of pa the pane of glass there. Need to make it a little darker up there at the top. A little more blue in the mixture there. Perhaps a little purple even if you want to. Let's just see how this works. That's good. It doesn't have to show up dramatic, I mean, just real dramatically, just enough to we could see it. Now, here you got this big section right here, so you got to be very creative about how you, how you do this one. Just going to go right on down like this. See, that would be the back side, so you can see now. This is the area behind. This is your glassed part. And there where there's a highlight, that represents the side. And then back here, you've got a similar situation going on. Where you can kind of see where the glass is broken. And we're still not finished. This is just part of, the, of what you have to do to make this work, okay? <clears throat> now we get to the kind of the tricky part. I want you to take your hake brush. Now this is very similar to when we glaze water. You know, after you put all the colors on the water, then you go back and you put a little glaze across there to sort of create the ripples and to subdue and soften the, the water. Well, this time you're going to do the similar thing, be a little more dry. So this is critical what we're getting ready to do here. You're going to have your brush. You might want to pre-mix this with your. In fact, I'm even going to use my uh, piece of paper here probably to do this with. I'm just going to take some white out here 
and some water. Get quite a bit here. Kind of mix that in there. And take this brush with a little bit of water. And I want you to get a little nice even distribution. See, I'm kind of you can mix this on your palette. I'm just showing you here. It's a little easier sometimes on the show if I do things a little differently. Now, I probably have a little too much water in there. I can, I can just sense that. So I'm going to suck out the water out of the heel of my brush. That's what you're, you're seeing me doing here. Okay, you get this form to a chisel edge here. By now, you all know what that means. It's real sharp. See how sharp that is? Now you gently, just with the weight of the brush and the light touch with your hand, you skim across at an angle, and all your angles have to be identical. So let's start, say, at the top here. You're going to start like this. Okay, see I'm kind of dragging my brush across. Now, the reality is if you'll go all the way across, even going across the window panes, you can always come back and wipe that off or repaint the paint. That's not a big deal. This just makes sure this way that everything's even. Now, here's where you get in trouble. You got to be careful not to go over this part where it's it's open. So, when you dry brush this here, that's why you can, you know, you learn to angle your brush to fit inside those little broken spots. Just enough. This is where just good brush control, having real good confidence in yourself. And you want, it's okay to see the movement and see the little brush. That's what makes it look like the glass, see? Because there's a little sparkle to glass and, and you know, depending on or at nighttime like this, or evening, whenever this is, you can really create the effect. Let's go over here now. And this also is one reason why you don't really finish any of the outer edge yet, because you've got to get this part in here. But to be sure that you don't have any lines that just 